The basic physical and organizational structures and facilities are buildings, roads, power supplies, waterways, and the like needed for the operation of our country are in continual need of upgrade and repair. Some of the critical systems we rely upon to ensure clean drinking water are over 100 years old. Bridges that aren't maintained or retrofitted with modern technology advances will eventually fall. Levees and dams we rely upon to keep us safe require constant maintenance, repair, and reinforcement. At any given time, we can look out upon the American landscape and see a never-ending to-do list. Like a homeowner, we can either get to all our things on our list or postpone them and pray that our roof won't leak or our AC won't suddenly stop during a heat wave. Now, with the SARS-CoV-2 crippling economic effect, massively decreased local, state, and federal tax revenue decreases, millions unemployed, and massive emergency reallocation of funding away from large-term projects like infrastructure, it is safe to say, like the homeowner, America has postponed much of its regular maintenance and repairs to critical infrastructure. Are we, like the homeowner, simply praying our infrastructure doesn't collapse before we can get to it? Are we nearing a collapse right now? Here are five infrastructure systems teetering on the edge and what you can do to protect yourselves from their collapse. Please consider subscribing to our newsletter to give you updates and membership specific content. Visit www.cityprepping.com forward slash newsletter or click on the link in the description and comments section below to subscribe today. Enjoy the video. Number one, roads and bridges. With stay-at-home orders and millions of Americans unemployed, much of traffic is light. Currently, interest rates are low and people need jobs. It would seem like a perfect time to fast-track construction on our crumbling, cracked, and potholed roads and our cracked and crumbling bridges, but America is stuck until Congress or the President acts. According to one study, out of the 614,387 bridges in the United States, more than 200,000 are more than 50 years old. About 32% of urban roads and 14% of rural roads are in poor condition. In fact, there's $836 billion backlog of unmet capital needed to fix the highways and bridges in the United States, according to a report by the United States Department of Transportation. Given the recent public health emergencies, the reallocation of funds to bail out businesses and citizens, and a continual onslaught of our regular natural disasters, wildfires, hurricanes, and even a derecho in Ohio, it is safe to say that many bridge and road repair projects have stopped and had their funding suspended and diverted. Kicking the can down the road on these critical projects creates more real problems later on. When America does return to work and fills the roadways, will the roads and bridges hold? Number two, schools. Schools have opened, closed, rapidly moved to online environments, and are left largely abandoned and maintained the school year. We don't really know if this current health emergency will forever change the way students go to schools and colleges. As a result, school construction and maintenance projects in many areas have been suspended indefinitely. Even before the current national health crisis, schools in the United States were not getting the funding they needed to maintain public school buildings. About 24% of these buildings are rated in fair or poor condition. Now, money is being routed away from repairing buildings and into online classes, servers, and tech training for teachers. When and if students do return to physical schools, they will be returning to the same unmaintained buildings in need of repair. Will they really be returning to the same education system? Many parents have opted for online learning, homeschooling, or charter schools. We really don't know how many kids will be returning to physical classrooms. We don't know the true effects of this national health crisis on the American education system. Number three, dams and levees. While poorly maintained roads, bridges, or schools in disrepair may not on their own lead to large-scale loss of life and property, the dams and levee systems in America could catastrophically collapse. Levees play a critical role in protecting communities from floodwaters, but they aren't currently receiving the critical attention they need. During the next 10 years, there's a need for $80 billion to improve these infrastructures. There were 15,500 high-hazard dams in the United States just in 2016. Hurricanes and storms continually threaten these critical water barriers even further. What happens to the nation's infrastructure when one or more of these critical systems fell? What's worse is that while a bridge collapsing impacts those immediately in the vicinity, the failure of a dam or levee system may lead to an increase in the loads on other dam and levee systems. The associated domino effect may strongly influence the risk of flooding. 
This was evidenced recently after Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, and most recently in May of this year, when the Edenville Dam failure led to the Smallwood Lake Dam overflow and Sanford Dam failure. Although no deaths were reported, the disaster forced 11,000 people to evacuate and buried mid-Michigan under billions of gallons of flood water. Still, two-thirds of the state's dams have outlived their 50-year lifespan, and 85 dams in the state are still considered to be a significant high risk. Michigan isn't the exception, though. It's a norm across America. A catastrophic, cascading collapse of these critical water protection measures could follow any natural disaster, which brings copious amounts of rain. Do you know what is upstream from you? Will you be ready to evacuate if you need to? Will your town and city be ready to receive millions of evacuees? Number four, wastewater and drinking water. It is a circulatory system of our country. The drinking water and wastewater systems keep our drinking water safe and carry away and treat our human waste. One is the artery system bringing life. The other is the vein system, carrying away and filtering out waste. They function as a somewhat closed system. In America's system though, some of those arteries and veins are like a person's over 100 years old. It is estimated that 1 million pipes have been in use for almost 100 years, and some even longer than that. The aging system makes water breaks more prevalent, which means there are about 2 trillion gallons of tree water lost each year. Many in Flint, Michigan still don't have clean drinking water, and Flint may just be the tip of the iceberg. Add to this that the United States is estimated to need 532 new systems wastewater treatment facilities by 2032 just to keep pace with demand, and we have a recipe for a water disaster. Clean water in America has been a rising crisis, and it will likely only become worse as infrastructure projects continue to be delayed, postponed, or canceled. One natural disaster causing wastewater or groundwater to wash into clean drinking supplies could create a disaster that would take years to correct. Water is one of the cornerstones of prepping. Without an adequate supply, you're desperate in hours and dead in days. In addition to the water storage solutions I've recommended on some of my other videos, I highly recommend some type of rapid water boiling system. If you're forced to evacuate, you probably won't be able to lift 50 gallons of water with you. That's 417 pounds. A solution is a portable means to rapidly boil undrinkable water and make it safe for consumption. I have Kelly Kettles available at the cityprepping.com website right now because they can provide you safe, clean, drinkable water in minutes. Number five, energy. We take for granted that when we flip a switch or turn a dial that lights come on or the burners on our stovetop light. We worry more about our smartphone's charge than we do about the supply of energy we will need to charge it. Though not as old as America's water systems, the majority of the country's electrical transmission and distribution lines were built in the mid 20th century and had a life expectancy of about 50 years. Most are already outdated. The infrastructure that supports electricity, like power plants and power lines, is already filling in devastating ways. Aging systems in California have already led to deadly and destructive wildfires, and rolling blackouts occur through every heat wave. The 2018 California fire called the Campfire was the deadliest and most destructive wildfire in California history. It caused 85 fatalities and wiped out whole communities within the first few hours. The towns of Paradise and Conco were almost completely destroyed, each losing about 95% of structures in the town. What caused the fire? It wasn't a lightning strike or some other random natural occurrence. It was ignited by a faulty electrical transmission line. If big power suppliers continue to avoid investments in infrastructure, it will only get worse. In Southern California, there have been 54 days from June through August where temperatures were in the 90s or over 100 degrees and the power company's response has been throttling back surfaces through rolling blackouts. Frequent high winds result in the same rolling blackouts. All across America, our aging power supply lines are teetering on the edge of failure. Well, you have the power you need to keep the heat on through the winter with the lights on in the darkness to stay safe and secure in your home. Try to live a day without power in your home and figure out how to survive should you find yourself without this highly critical resource. Prepare accordingly. America's infrastructure is more than just the five systems I mentioned in this video, but I have focused on these five systems because they have the most glaringly obvious failures occurring right now. When one system fails, it can cascade throughout that system and affect other systems. When levees break, drinking water systems can become contaminated. When power fails, wildfires can ravage the country. When roads or bridges fail, critical escape routes in the event of a natural disaster disappear. Even something as seemingly innocuous as crumbling empty school buildings can have a lasting impact on our education system 
and the United States standing in the world. Be aware of how these systems overlap for you in your area. What's your plan for fresh drinking water? What's your plan for waste disposal? What's your plan for fire, flood, or earthquake? Now is the time to prepare, because even if one of these systems fails in one place, it can have a ripple effect across America. If you found this video informative and helpful, please feel free to like it and share it with your friends, family, and community. If you have any comments or anything else you'd like to share, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I would like to hear what you feel is the infrastructure systems that most need our attention right now. I do read many of the comments and respond to them when I'm able to, usually within the first hour of releasing the video. Remember that there are links in the description section below where you can find more information about things I discuss in this video. If you'd like to be notified when other videos become available, you may want to subscribe to this channel. As always, stay safe out there.